For many years since I've been on YouTube, I started to find new interests and topics that would keep me invested for some of my time. One of them in particular is Lost Media. For those who don't know, Lost Media is a subject when certain content in the entertainment industry is forgotten or missing. Sometimes it can possibly motivate individuals to scour through the very depths of the internet just to look for what they're searching. And depending on their status of existence, it can be occasionally hard to track down or even recover any piece of obscure media. Since then, there has been one show that I grew up with that made my connection to it even more than my younger self did. And the show I'm talking about is VeggieTales. Due to this series being around for three decades now, I've decided to take the time discussing some of the franchise's repressed media. Inspired by Blame It On George's videos on lost media, I'll be sharing with you all five surprisingly discovered or found pieces of VeggieTales media that I found the most interesting. The Bob and Larry Movie Jonah of VeggieTales Movie became Big Idea's most ambitious project that they've made during the new millennium. Despite its failure in theaters, fans still remember and sometimes consider it as one of Big Idea's best projects that they've put out. But before it was released, co-creator Phil Vischer and some of the crew members working at the studio during that time were thinking of making another VeggieTales movie, which was in development when Jonah was nearing the end of its production. The film was called The Bob and Larry Movie, and it originally served as a fictional biography on how Bob and Larry met and the creation of the series we know and love, with the inclusion of human characters. If Jonah became a success, then this film would have had a theatrical release in 2005, with Artisan Entertainment serving as the distributor. Unfortunately, those plans were never put to use, as Big Idea filed for bankruptcy in 2003, following Jonah's disappointment at the box office, leading the feature to be ultimately scrapped. As time moved forward, information about its existence began surfacing, including concept art by Michael Spooner and Joe Spatterford, and Phil Vischer himself stating on Twitter that he has a copy of the film's script, but has no plans to release it to the public. Ever since VeggieTales was revived in 2019, both Vischer and Mike Naraki announced at the National Religious Broadcast Convention that Big Idea's current owners, Comcast and Universal Pictures, are developing a new VeggieTales movie, However, they confirmed that it wasn't the Bob and Larry movie. Veggie Town Values In 1998, Veggie Tales released a series of videos for Vacation Bible School called Veggie Town Values. Each kit featured VHS tapes containing originally animated, but also hilarious greeting segments with Bob and Larry, episodes from the show that were edited exclusively for the tapes, and a separate video called Helping Kids Talk, with the latter being hosted by Phil Fisher's mother, Scotty May. The first line was so successful that more VeggieTales themed kits and videos appeared from 2000 to 2001, such as VeggieTown Values on the Job, for the family, and Jonah, an overboard adventure, with that one being made to promote the already mentioned Jonah film. As of this video, all of the videos, segments, and kits are viewable online. Before I move on, here's a small fact about the Jonah VBS kit. The segments from the VeggieTales video, Jonah Sing Along Songs and More, originated as the greetings from the Jonah VBS theme, 
with a few scenes slightly different due to them being animated by real FX studios. Even a handful of these are included as an easter egg on the film's DVD. Early Animations Before 1993, Phil Vischer made a few animation clips to test out what VeggieTales was going to look like. One was a walking Nerf ball that looked like an orange, another was Mr. Cuke's screen test, and most notably, Take 38. Okay, get this. All the citizens of the kitchen come together. Fruits, vegetables, small kitchen appliances. Regardless of species, color, or brand name, they all come together with one purpose. And that purpose... Hey, Bob! Have, have you seen my plastic wind-up lobster? Not now. <clears throat> Before Where's Guy When I'm Scared went into production, both Mr. Cuke's screen test and Take 38 were made as promotional videos to raise money in order to create said episode and showed it to Christian publishers. Sadly though, the short animations didn't earn the fundings that Phil was hoping for. He eventually got the money he needed from a rich couple who were settling for retirement, since they wanted to see VeggieTales come to life. For over 20 years, the shorts have never been seen to everyone and were only watchable through a rare 2004 VHS and DVD of Where's God When I'm Scared as bonus featurettes. It wasn't until 2014 where two YouTubers, one of which named Oliver Muffin Sailor, found and uploaded the shorts from the same VHS. As of now, the shorts are still watchable on the internet and a small behind the scenes feature of Take 38 was also released from the 10th anniversary DVD. Veggie Tales on TV. Though not the first time the series has aired on television, Veggie Tales on TV was the first time ever that the whole show aired its half-hour episodes on regular broadcast television. In 2006, Phil Vischer and NBC made a deal to air the episodes prior to that year on the network's former kids' block, Cubo. Although the format still carries on in the show, with the exception of newly animated segments that took place at Bob's house, half of it did not. In terms of how the lessons were taught, NBC refused to have any references to the Bible or God, as they've previously made a policy that they will not advocate any religious morals or content on their channel, to which Phil was not aware of. However, some episodes that were retellings of biblical stories still aired regardless. Because of the disagreements between the two above and how some fans despised this version of VeggieTales, the series didn't really last long as it got cancelled in 2009. I was aware that a handful of clips showing the segments with Archibald, Paw Grape, and Paco were watchable as bonus featurettes on the DVD of Lessons from the Sock Drawer as well as three short clips from the teaser trailer for God Made You Special. Not only did clips featuring Bob's house were uploaded by YouTuber VeggieTales VHS, but from April of 2016 to August of 2017, the series was rebroadcasted through syndication on a number of local TV channels, including Cozy TV and WNBC. The internet noticed the re-airings and took the opportunity by recording and uploading the episodes online. As of now, all the episodes, including the unaired ones from the second half of season 2, can be found through YouTube and Dailymotion. However, the only episode that's partially lost is Minnesota Cuke, with only the house segments being available, albeit in low audio quality. Going back to when the series was still watchable, there were rumors that the segment from God Made You Special, Bob's Vacation, was made to be the season 2 premiere episode. 
to answer that, there is little proof that an episode with the segment exists. Given that it would be 10 minutes shorter to fit into a traditional 22 minute episode. Where's God when I'm scared? And now we get to the most notable one of them all. The original version of the first VeggieTales episode, Where's God when I'm s scared? As the title already says, the version that many of you know and grew up to watch was never the original release. As stated by Phil Vischer and some of the staff working at Big Idea in 1993, only 500 copies of the first ever release of the episode was created. After the company signed their deal with Word Music to distribute every episode in Christian bookstores soon after, the original version of said episode mysteriously went unnoticed and forgotten. As to why Big Idea never thought of re-releasing it to the public is unknown. Though it's possible that the small team had limited resources when they were working on Where's God. Very few fans thought that the original version was gone for good. That was until 2017, when the heavens arrived. On August 4th of that same year, YouTuber Junior Adventure found a copy of one of the first 500 videos to the original release. The user even shared a folder on their Google Drive that not only contained the episode, but also two pamphlets that came with the video. When analyzing the one from the 500 copies, it's noticeable that this contains an unfinished version of the VeggieTales theme song, as well as the credits being played at the end of each segment. It's unsure why Big Idea settled with credits being played at the end of each segment, rather than all of them at the very end. Due to its existence becoming more recognized, this version can be viewable wherever you look for the video. It's people like Junior Adventure, Oliver Muffin Sailor, and VeggieTales VHS who keep searching and learning more about VeggieTales' franchise and their content no matter how big or small they can be.